FSN Radio. It's all about what's next. Go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com and sign up for your free weekly newsletter. You'll also get three free reports. The Financial Survival Network. It's all about what's next. Welcome. You are listening to the Financial Survival Network. I'm Kerry Lutz, and we're back with Mike Gazzola. We reconnected last time. We got so much email and so much interest. We figured, Mike, we got to do it again because this is uh, what a lot of you out there have been waiting for. Yeah. And just, you know, the amazing positive feedback from you guys, just the amount of people that have gone to AmazonSecrets.net, put in their name and their email, got my emails, responded back to me and just said how this podcast was the difference maker. You know, they, they thought maybe it was something they couldn't do. They thought it might be over their head or they thought it was just for that exclusive group of of online multimillionaires and they could do it, but I can't. And it's it's just been it's been so fun these last couple of months, just all the positive feedback. And I thank all of you for that. Really from the bottom of my heart. You know, that that's what makes me want to do these shows and makes me want to show people the process that has done over two million dollars since last year. And you know, it's uh, that's not huge money. I mean, to some people that would be life changing. And there's people that have done a hundred times more than uh, me in the last hey, year. I'm I'm just a regular guy. Remember, Mike, when we were in China at the Marriott Hotel there in Iwu, which is like in the middle of uh, who the heck knows where it is in China. It's like 300 miles or 400 miles from Shanghai. And we met those people in the dining room at the Marriott. And that guy was doing, I think, 10 to 12 million a year. And the only difference between him and you is that he'd been doing it for three or four years. And I'm sure he didn't know half of the techniques that you'd known that you've developed, you and Matt, to get to where you are now in really a little more than a year and a half. Yeah. And, you know, some people, they might be really good at what they do, but they're not good at transferring that knowledge and showing and teaching a step by step process. And, I mean, I don't know anybody who's had the same level of success that actually teaches people the process. Most people would keep it as a pretty closely guarded secret, but it's something that I love doing. Internet marketing is that's my passion. And it's all the different ways of e-commerce, selling physical products, selling digital products. But at the same time, it's all about capitalizing on not just the power of Amazon, That's just the really low hanging fruit, but it's just how to be the only logical choice in general online. And that's why it doesn't matter if if you're a professional, if you're a teacher, if you only make 20 grand a year and you're thinking, you know, I'm going to be stuck in this job forever. It's just about realizing that there's so much more out there. And if you're willing to follow a process, it's something that I love sharing. Hey, and I remember... When I was in China with you, we had a guy, I think his name was Scott. He worked for a huge company, household name company, and they bought, I guess, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of product in China every year. And big, big, huge Amazon sellers, they didn't even know if they knew 10 or 15% of the techniques that you were using. I'd be surprised. And remember, I interviewed him. I said, are you going to go back and tell him about this? And he says, not unless they pay me. <laughs> that's, yeah. And, and that's what that's how you start to feel, right? I mean, you start to feel more powerful as you're gaining knowledge and you're experiencing it because that's what I take a lot of pride in is that the inner circle people and the people that just listen to the podcast, the the level of the people that take massive action and ultimately have massive success is higher than any other educational product or educational mentors that I know of. Most people, they get fired up in the moment and then it dies out. But when you have the support of over 450 people now in the Facebook group that are like-minded, that are all part or have been part of the inner circle, because we only do 100 at a time, but all the previous people from the inner circle are still in the Facebook group. So it's it's really cool and inspiring for brand new people that that just start diving into this to kind of see where other people started six months ago, nine months ago, a year ago and lean on each other for support. I mean, we're a, we're a tribe of Amazon sellers. We all look out for each other. We have each other's best interest in mind at all times. And everybody is just, they're, they're, they're forward thinkers and they're all the right fit. And they're all taking this business really seriously. 
and not looking at, at it as just some side income, maybe make a couple bucks. I mean, sure, there's people that do that. Because if your goal is only to make two grand more a month, I mean, I would hate to say this to you, but you're not yeah. living up to your potential. I wouldn't say you're failing, but there's just so much more you could do besides just a couple grand a month. But if that's your goal, I'm happy to facilitate helping you meet your goals just by delivering the knowledge. And it's not for all of you. Some of you, I mean, some people in life are just so negative. They they can't imagine that they can learn a process and actually do it. But there's also people that are hungry and they're teachable, they're trainable, they're coachable, and they're willing to follow a process. And those are the people that I really do have a good time watching them grow and succeed. It's just, you know, me making money online. I mean, and this is humbly, I'm not bragging. It would never be an issue for me. I can always make money online. It's not hard at all. I understand the processes, but I take I, and I get just as much excitement watching people like you who, who've done it and just started something brand new and kicking butt with it. I, I love that. And I take pride in the fact that there's so many of us in our small tribe that are just doing it together, not financially together, but doing it as a team, meaning we're all there to support each other, help each other. And me and my partner, Matt, being there as your coach. Hey, well, look, it's amazing to me. My partner, Milena, said, even if she only had access to the Facebook group and nothing else from the inner circle, it would have been well worth the investment because there's so much sharing of knowledge, experience, what works, what doesn't work. Look, Amazon is a huge bureaucracy. Now, they're much more efficient than a governmental bureaucracy, but there's still a bureaucracy. There's still things that, that they do that are maddening to you that just drive you nuts. And then... Uh, then basically you, you exchange knowledge in this group, you learn about stuff. And the best thing is that you and Matt are constantly learning as well. Like for instance, you figured out, uh, with shipping costs because shipping costs from the far East backbreaking, they will kill you. And really to get the best deal on shipping, it's just not that easy to do. I mean, there's a lot of, of things that you need to think about with shipping. Yeah, I mean, these shipping companies, you know, you think the people that are selling the products are making the killing, but, and they are, obviously there's people that make, you know, seven figures a month selling physical products, digital products online, but the people that are shipping it, they're, a lot of them are, are way out earning the people that are actually selling oh, yeah. the products and shipping is just, it's such a key. And that's why I wanted to talk about the shipping today is because you know, what a lot of people don't realize is that there's so many different ways to get your product from the actual manufacturer in China to the destination, whether that destination be your own warehouse, your own uh, storage, mini storage, whether it's at Amazon, you know, from leaving actual China to getting it to Amazon to people that don't have experience with shipping and don't have the power of 400 plus other people also shipping, that shipping price could be backbreaking to a lot of people. And when I say backbreaking, I mean, you might end up spending $1.50, $2 per product, and then realize later you could have spent 40 or 50 cents per product, right? And it doesn't mean you're not gonna turn a profit, but this isn't just about turning a profit, it's about doing it in, in a smart and logical way, meaning, commingling shipments, figuring out if air shipping's better for you, if sea shipping's better for you. But more important than that is when our inner circle, when we're, when people are shipping their product, it's like when five or six or seven or 10 or two or 20 people get together. And that's something that's facilitated in China by our company. When I say our company, it's not my company. I don't make a dollar off their services. The only thing I demand is superior customer service for my inner circle and that they don't take on anybody else that's not in the inner circle. It doesn't mean you can't find your own company in China that can do all these things for you, but it's like you save so much money with volume and having other people working with you, right? Because I want to give you guys a couple real life examples. You know, so traditionally when you ship from China, right? Uh, the way that they're measuring this is, is what's called CBM. And that's the cubic meters that it takes up, right? 
So when you're shipping a product, you know, so think of what three cubic meters would look like, you know, just kind of try and imagine that, right? What three cubic meters would look like. Uh, that would basically like, and you know, math, you don't really have to understand that, but you know, you figure a meter is roughly three feet, right? So what would nine cubic, I mean, three cubic meters be, right? Just think of it in terms of that. So it's a fair amount, but let's just say your shipment is only, and what most shipping companies are going to do is they're going to charge you a minimum of three CBM and they're going to charge you about 1100. Now, if your product's small, that's not going to be a high shipping cost. You might be able to get, you know, 3000 products if they're real small into to three CBM, right? It all depends on your product, the size, the dimensions, all that good stuff. But let's just say you're only shipping one CBM of, of product. They're still going to charge you. That's the minimum is three CBM. So you're going to pay $1,100 no matter how much you're shipping anywhere from, you know, one CBM to three CBM, you're going to pay exactly the same. And that's how most of the shipping companies work. So now if you think of it this way, a large shipping container is about 60 CBM. Okay. So that means you could have, and these are very rough numbers. There's like decimal points and all that, but let's just yeah. say that 20 different people are shipping three CBM. That means 20 different people are paying 1100. That would be about $22,000 in shipping. Now with the power of the inner circle, and now you got to remember too, it works like this. So let me explain kind of how shipping works. When you when you're shipping, if if you're just buying from a manufacturer and you weren't part of the inner circle and you were just shipping from a manufacturer, the way that that would work is that your manufacturer would still ship to the port in China, the closest port, then it's going to ship to the port in the United States and then from that point in the United States it's going to go off to Amazon, right? or to your shipping warehouse, or to to your garage, however you would want to do that, right? Now, in some instances, and I've done that myself, there's something, so air shipping sometimes makes more sense. If you have a lightweight product, you don't have a bunch of them, uh, I'll give you an example. I, I have one product, it's not that big, but it's pretty heavy. And to ship a thousand of them was about 600 bucks. Now you got to remember, these are pretty heavy items, but they're not large items, but they're yeah. heavy. So for me to ship those by air made more sense, right? Because now I get that product in five days. It's exactly where I want it to be in about seven days, meaning it goes to the different Amazon warehouses. That's something also that we'll touch on is kind of how Amazon determines where your product gets shipped throughout the United States. But with that being said on that particular item, and that's what what the team in, in China does, is they analyze what makes more sense for you. Is it to do air shipping, get it there in a couple days? Is it sipping, shipping by sea and commingling a bunch of products and paying with other people in the inner circle? So meaning 10 of you, four of you, six of you, 20 of you, however many, filling an entire shipping container but paying like 20, 30% of the price, right? Depending on how many people are chipping in on that shipping. So one of the things we're gonna be doing moving forward is once a month, all of us inner circle people are gonna take up a container. So your product might be ready for one month shipping or it might be ready the following month or the following month, depending on the speed that you move, right? Or you might wanna do a combination of both. So I'll give you another really good example and this is something that also makes a lot of sense. So let's say you have 3000 product and you know it's gonna take a good solid month to get from China uh, here to Amazon or to your garage or whatever, right? Depends. Most people are going right to Amazon. That's the low hanging fruit. Send it to Amazon. Let Amazon handle all the customer service, handle the shipping to the door of the customer, handle all customer service, handle all packing, all that stuff, and take a small cut of your sale, right? You don't pay them up front. It's pretty cool. It's a rough figure, but you're going to pay about 20%, depending on your price point, of course. That's just a rough number of what you sell your product for. Might be up to 30% might be a smaller percent depending on your price point, right? So just follow me here. I, I got to use rough examples just to give you an idea. But let's say you're on the high end and you're paying 30% of what you sell it for. You got to remember that includes, so if you sold something for, let's say 10 bucks, then you're probably, it's rough, you might pay about three bucks, but you gotta remember, you couldn't ship it to that customer for less than three bucks. And Amazon's also gonna handle all your customer service, any complaints, 
any returns, storage, all of that stuff is included in the fee that you pay Amazon. So to me, it's the low hanging fruit. It's the easiest way to get started in this business. Now, if you start selling 20, 30,000 products a month, you might want your own logistics center where you're receiving product, you're shipping it out, but that would be something you grow to, right? So let me give that great example that, that I was talking about. So let's say you have 3,000 items coming from China. You might say, well, hey, I want 300 of those items to get shipped right to Amazon. I want to be up and selling. I want this to happen fast. I'm going to airship those. I'm going to get it there in a week. Rough example could be six days, could be nine, whatever. But let's use a week as an example. I'm going to have it go from China, be up and running at Amazon. It'll take me a week. It's all good. Now, the other 2,700, I'm going to ship by sea freight, save, you know, 70%, 50%. Depends how big is your shipment, how many, but the bottom line is save a massive amount of money. Because remember, the cheaper you get your shipping, the higher your profit margin. You know, Carrie, your, your product is a good example. You and I were talking earlier how with the cost of your product, with shipping, with getting it to Amazon, your product cost about two bucks, right? Yeah, it almost doubled the cost of my product. It almost yeah. doubled it. For one, it did. For the other, it was about 75% of the cost of the product over and above the cost of the product was shipping uh, from China to here. Yeah. So in that, like, I think roughly you, you calculated it out, your product cost you about a buck 20 and it cost about 80 cents to ship it. Right. Yeah, exactly. And we figured out, you know, Hey, with the power of the group, you know, on when we, when we commingle these shipments and it's just something we started doing about six weeks ago. So it's something that's brand new, but starting to commingle these shipments. Cause mm -hmm. listen, I'm learning just like you guys, I'm getting better and better at this. I'm learning how to save you guys even more money, save myself even more money and becoming better and better at this just by selling tens of thousands of units on Amazon and kind of figuring out how can I chisel away a little bit here, a little bit there, and then transferring that knowledge to you guys. So you don't have to go through the guesswork and spend countless thousands of dollars like I did overpaying for shipping, which is a whole nother story. If we have time today, yeah. I'll tell you about that uh, at the end, insane. how I made a couple thousand dollar mistake on shipping, just not knowing one thing, which I've already taught everyone and no one will ever make that same mistake. But now let's figure out how to save even more money on the shipping. But you and I, we kind of calculated it out. It seems like it should be about 30 cents seems roughly fair for that shipping, right? So that goes from being $2 for each of your product to land at Amazon to being $1.50 for each of your products to land at Amazon. That alone, you're saving 25% off the top, right? That's massive. Huge. And even though you're going to, you know, like your gross is, I don't know, seven, dollars $8,000 a month, you only get to keep about 3000 of that. But what's after product and shipping and Amazon's fees? But that's cool for your first month. We'll wind up making another thousand a month once we start consolidating our shipments. We'll make another thousand to twelve hundred fifty a month. I mean, the cost of the shipping is just going to go way down. Shipping is one of your major costs for importing. And, you know, it's amazing. Mike, is that you've become a logistics uh, expert like overnight because because you looked at a cost that said it's backbreaking. It really makes certain products uneconomical, can't mm -hmm. do it. And you found a better way. And hey, who knows? Maybe we'll be uh, leasing boats one day. Yeah. And, and that's the rough example that I wanted to give. Right. Because if you take 20 people that are all buying three CBM of space, now it gets even worse if you only have one CBM of space because you're paying for three CBM of space. I but know. let's just say everybody had three CBM of space. That's 22 grand collectively. Everyone's paying for shipping. I know that costs it can be less than $5,000, right? So you're talking about a 75% difference. Now it gets even worse. Let's say that there's 30 people that only have two CBM of stuff or 15 of the people only have one CBM of stuff. A container holds 60 CBM, right? So even the person that only has one cubic meter of stuff is paying 1100 the person that has three CBM of stuff is paying 1100 That gets backbreaking. Times that by 20, that's $22,000, where if we collectively took the entire container, you're talking about less than $5,000. Now that's shipping from, you know, Shanghai to LA and then from LA have, and, and I, we, you know, you and I went into great details and, yeah. and you know, you're a smart guy and, and you, you, you seem to know a lot about shipping logistically. 
And, you know, we were talking about, and I reached out to companies locally that'll receive it in Long Beach, handle shipping it out to Amazon and save people just such a massive amount of money. But right now the inner circle gets to commingle shipments and save a massive amount of money. I want to take it a step further and I'll just pay the, say the five grand for the container. And then everybody it's divided out by however many people use that container based on your shipping dimensions, based on your CBM, you only pay for what you use, which is cool because say the inner circle fills up 90% of a container. It's like, cool. Like we still save a massive amount of money. Let's say we fill up 50% of it. I'll just say, okay, well I'll get a bunch of product here with the other half of it. Right. Right. And I still save a massive amount of money, but more importantly, the inner circle saves even more money than we're doing now just by combining shipments. Oh, it's great. Hey, and look, our two products, whether we ordered 1000 of each or 2000 of each, the shipping cost was the same. It was $1,500. So we wound up ordering 2000 of each item because it just didn't make any sense not to because the shipping was going to be the same either way, whether we ordered 1000 or 2000 So effectively, our shipping cost got cut in half because we doubled up on the order. But that business-wise, that might not have been the best thing to do. We were really over-ordering our inventory. But from the standpoint that we know this is going to work, we're going to be selling this stuff. So it might take us three months. So we have three months worth of inventory the first time, as opposed to having 45 days, which is probably the optimal number. But Amazon tells you all that stuff anyway. So shipping, I mean, just this alone, the ability to join forces and get the best possible price on shipping, which can be anywhere from 25 to 100 percent of your cost, meaning it can double your price that you're paying for your products, uh, it can be that high because it almost was with uh, one of ours. You know, this alone is is just brilliant. Uh, I love it. Can't wait to get started with it. Yeah. And the, and the last three uh, commingled shipments, like people were just blown away. So these last three times that the inner circle has been commingling shipments. Now, for some people, it's like, I don't want to wait the three weeks to join the shipment. It's like, OK, then don't, you know, but understand you'll still save money on shipping but you'll save way more money on shipping if you're willing to wait those three weeks. And instead, why don't you take 10% of your product, airship it there, have it in seven days, then wait the three weeks for the other 90% of your product, right? And still, you're so far ahead of the game. And just like you said, shipping was no different from 1,000 to 2,000. So in your head, and now, I mean, in hindsight, it's obviously a good decision because you're on track for 600 sales this month on one of your products. So in hindsight, it's like, if I only did a thousand, then I'd be scrambling. And one of the mistakes I share is the worst mistake. You're not the worst. There's way worse ones, but a really bad mistake you're going to make is running out of product because you've surged to page one. You start kicking butt on your product. You're ranking phenomenally. Then all of a sudden you start doing too good. You sell out a product. And now not only are you not making money every day, which you're so used to, it's like it's a good problem to have when you're selling at such an insane rate. But then you start to do what I do, which is panic that now I need because with my supplements are a great example. I have to give a six week lead time on my supplements. So when things just start exploding on one of my supplement products, like my biggest fear is like, oh my God, I have a three week supply right now. It's going to take me six weeks to replenish the supply. Now I got to double the price because what I don't want to do is sell out. So now I double the price, end up selling half the amount, making way more money. But now my sales rank starts to fall, right? Yeah. Because I'm not selling as much. I'm netting even more money. But the whole thing is this this whole combination of the Amazon algorithm. How do you spike that? How do you get the how do you find that perfect price point where you're still selling a ton of product, but at the same time, you're not selling it too fast that you run out of inventory. And but how do you still make Amazon happy by selling a lot of product? It's like it's dancing that fine line. And that's what you guys have been masters of just based on playing the game. Right. It's it's a giant yeah. chess game. And it's oh, yeah. it's just figuring out what makes sense for you and your business. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, it's it's a real balancing act. 
you know, generally you want to sell as much product as you can because how much of one product you sell is going to affect your ranking for other products. So the more you sell, the better. But you know from personal experience, the last thing you ever want to do is run out of product. So it's so important what you're doing here, consolidating these shipments, allowing people to ship for 10, 15 percent of what they otherwise would have. I mean, you got to be crazy not to do it, Mike. Anyway, that pretty much uh, wraps it up for this show. It's great reconnecting with you again, sharing these developments in your system. I mean, it never stops. And that's that's the beauty of it. Yeah, we're now on version four. So with each version, we just get better and better and just recreate and share exactly what's working right now today. And collectively, now it's just so huge having over 450 people now in the private Facebook group. It's like everybody gets to see exactly what everyone else is doing, the successes they have, the struggles they have, and being able to lean on us and do those weekly calls. That's the fun thing for me is every single week jumping on live with all hundred people in the inner circle where I get to deliver the brand new content, exactly what's working, help people with their marketing, help people with spiking that Amazon algorithm, helping people find the right products, helping them source those right products, helping them get them shipped, their logos, all the fun logistics. It's like, I wouldn't rather do anything else. (laughs) <laughs> so if you guys want to join the inner circle, that's an application. But if you just want to check out some cool training, go to amazonsecrets.net, enter just your first name and your email. I'll meet you on the other side with some cool training videos. And I look forward to watching you guys succeed. Even if just these podcasts will help you drive to Vegas as opposed to fly to Vegas. I'm super happy to be able to share this knowledge and help you guys. So thanks again, Carrie. It's super good to reconnect with you. I mean, so much positive things has happened with both of our businesses, our lives in just the last few months. And, you know, we'll see each, we'll, we'll connect and deliver some really good information on the next show. I got some, some great things to share. All right. Hey, Mike, it's been a pleasure. We will definitely reconnect again and get this information out. It's too valuable to keep secret. All right. Yeah, we'll talk soon, Kerry. FSN Radio. It's all about what's next. Go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com and sign up for your free weekly newsletter. You'll also get three free reports. The Financial Survival Network. It's all about what's next.